find the mean of all the factors of 100. Here, mean mean average, that is sum of factors divided by total number of factors is equal to mean of factors. Now, take the prime factorization of 100. 25 into 4 is equal to 100. 25 is 5 square and 4 is 2 square. So, total number of factors of 100 is equal to here power of 5 is 2. So, take 2 plus 1 and power of 2 is 2. So, again take 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 into 3, 9. So, total number of factors are 9. Now, take the sum of factors. For that, take the sum of factors of 25. That is, take the sum of factors of 5 up to 5 square, which can be written as 5 raised to 0 plus 5 raised to 1 plus 5 square. Again, take the sum of factors of 4, which is equal to 2 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 1 plus 2 square. Now, this is equal to 25 plus 5, 30, 30 plus 1, 31. 31 into 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. So, 31 into 7 is equal to 270. Then, mean of factors of 100 is equal to 217 divided by 9. Option C is your answer. Next is, find the sum of all the factors of 60. 60 can be written as 15 into 4. 15 can be written as 3 into 5. Now, this is equal to 3 raised to 1 into 5 raised to 1 into 2 square. So, here sum of factors is equal to 3 raised to 0 plus 3 raised to 1 into 5 raised to 0 plus 5 raised to 1 into 2 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 1 plus 2 square. Now, this is equal to 1 plus 3 is 4 into 1 plus 5 is 6 into 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. 42 into 4. 42 into 4 is equal to 168. So, option D is your answer. Now, you can also find number of factors of 60, which is equal to 2 into 2 into 3, equal to 12. Then, mean of factors is equal to 168 divided by 12, equal to 14. 